This LOS is calculate the duration of a portfolio and explain the limitations of portfolio duration. Duration of a bond portfolio. The duration of a bond portfolio can be calculated in two ways. One is the weighted average of the time to receipt of aggregate cash flows, and two, the weighted average of the durations of individual bonds that comprise the portfolio. And I made an important bullet point here. The duration of a portfolio is equal to the sum of the weighted durations of the individual bonds, with each weight equal to the market value of the bond divided by the market value of the portfolio. So you have to calculate the market values and, and use the market values of the bonds. Uh, so the weight is the market value of the bond divided by the market value of the portfolio. That's really important. We'll see that in the practice questions. So the first method is the theoretically correct approach, but it is difficult to use in practice. The second method is commonly used by fixed income portfolio managers, but it has its own limitations. The main advantage to the second approach is that it is easily used as a measure of interest rate risk. However, this advantage is also indicates a limitation. This measure of portfolio duration implicitly assumes a parallel shift in the yield curve. A parallel shift implies that all rates change by the same amount in the same direction. In reality, interest rate changes frequently result in a steeper or flatter yield curve. So we'll just do three practice questions, all calculations, to finish this LOS. The first one, an endowment's fixed income portfolio comprises three bonds whose market values, par values, coupon rates, and durations are given in the following table. So we've got bond one, bond two, bond three. Bond one market value 500,000, par value 580,000, coupon 11%, duration 6.2. Bond two market value 1.2 million, par value 1.1 million, coupon rate 6%, duration 8.1, and bond 3 market value 300,000, par value 320,000, coupon rate 9%, and duration is 2.9. And the portfolio, the question is the portfolio's duration is closest to A, 5.73, B, 6.31, or C, 6.85. So you can see this question is really easy. We're just calculating a weighted average. I'm not even going to bring up my calculator. But we don't need the par value, okay? We don't need the coupon rate. So this is just an example of a question giving you some a little bit of extra information. Uh, you know, so if you're not totally up to speed on it, that extra information on questions often confuses some people. That's why the pass rate is at 42%, okay? So what we need to do is we need to get the, uh, we can see just by skipping down here, the duration of a portfolio is equal to the sum of the weighted durations of the individual bonds with each weight equal to the market value of the bond divided by the market value of the portfolio. So we use the market value of the bond and the market value of the portfolio. So we can see here uh, 1.2 million plus 500,000 plus 300,000. Well, that gives you a nice round number of uh, 2 million. Okay, don't even need to bring up the calculator for that. 500,000 plus 1.2 million plus 300,000. And then you're just doing the weighted average. So for bond A, uh, bond one, it's 500,000 divided by 2 million times 6.2. Uh, that's gonna give you 1.55. Then you've got uh, for bond two, 1.2 million divided by 200,000 times 8.1, the duration. It's gonna give you 4.86. For bond three, 300,000 divided by 2 million times 2.9, the duration for bond three, we're gonna get 0.435, add them all up, that's how we do a weighted average, we get 6.85, so the correct answer is C. Very easy, just doing a weighted average. You need the market value of the bonds, and you need the duration of the bonds, and that's it. So we'll just do another quick practice question. I think you should find it easy. A portfolio manager holds the following three bonds, which are option-free, have the indicated durations. So here we've got bonds A, B, C, par value owned, uh, market value owned and duration. So bond A, the par value is 8 million, market value 12 million, duration 3. Bond B, par value 8 million, market value 6 million, duration 7. And bond C, par value 4 million, market value 6 million, duration 6. So the portfolio's duration is closest to A, 4.75, B, 5.2, or C, 5.33. Again, a very easy question. We don't need the par value, we need the market value. Barely need my calculator again. 12 million plus, plus uh, 6 million plus 6 million. That's gonna give us 24 million. So that's the market value of the portfolio. 
and we have the market value of the bonds and we have the duration. So to calculate the duration of the portfolio, we're just doing the weighted average. So bond A, 12 over 24 times 3, plus bond B, 6 over 24 times 7, plus bond C, 6 over 24 times 6. So just shorten it here, took off some of the zeros. Calculator keystroke, speed is a skill, skill gets rewarded. This is not a 90 second question if you get this on the exam and I think you'd be happy to see it uh, quite easy. And the correct answer is A, it's 4.75, okay? And another practice question. An analyst gathered the following information about a portfolio comprised, comprised of three bonds. So again, we've got bond A, B, and C, but we've got the price, the, par, uh, the paramount owned, and the duration, okay? Uh, so bond A, the price is 102, par amount owned 7 million, duration 1.89. Bond B, price 94.356, par amount owned 5 million, duration 7.7. .7. And bond C, price 88.688, par amount owned 3 million, and duration 11.55. So assuming there's no accrued interest, then the portfolio duration is closest to A, 5.55 years, B, 5.76 years, or C, 6.82 years. All right, I did this question third because it's uh, just, you have to do one extra subcalculation that you didn't have to do for the previous questions and why? Because they're giving us the price and they're giving us the par amount. And remember, to calculate the um, duration of a portfolio, we need to use the market values. How do we get the market value? We use the price times the par value, okay? So for bond A, 102 times 7 million, I won't bring up the calculator, you can see here, 102 times 7 million, it's gonna give us 7,140,000, okay? Uh, for bond B, 94.356 times 5 million, that's at a discount, so we do 0.94356 times the 5 million, we're gonna get 4,717,800. And for bond C, also at a discount, so we're going to do 0.88688 times the 3 million, we're going to get 2,660,640. We add the three bonds together, and we're going to get 14,518,440, that's the market value, okay? So step one, we needed the market value of the bonds, uh, and then step two, we need to sum that and we get the portfolio. After that, it's just the same. Uh, weighted average calculation. So for bond A, the weight is 7,140,000 divided by 14,518,440. We get 49.2%. For bond B, we get 32.5%. And for bond C, we get 18.3%. So again, not even going to bring up the calculator in the interest of time. We calculate the portfolio duration then based on the market value. And so uh, 0.492 times 1.89 plus 0.325 times 7.7 plus 0.183 times 11.55, and we get the correct answer is A, it's 5.55 years, okay? So again, you yeah, have quite, quite easy, but in this case, they gave us the um, price and the par amount owned, so we had to calculate the market values. Just a little subcalculation, pretty easy. We're just gonna finish this LOS by showing you the practice question, the uh, practice problem at the end of the reading. So you can see here, I highlighted in blue, a bond portfolio consists of the following three fixed rate bonds, assume annual coupon payments, no accrued interest, prices are per 100 of the value. So you've got again, bond ABC, you've got the maturity, the market value, the price, the coupon, the yield to maturity, and the modified duration, okay? So uh, the market value is in terms of dollars as well. And so it's asking you the bonds portfolio's modified duration is closest to A, 7.62, B, 8.08, or C, 8.2. So you can see again, in this table, they're giving us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns of information. So, uh, you know, if you're not really up to speed on how to calculate the uh, portfolio's modified duration, uh, you could be confused about which numbers you need to use and which numbers you need to um, uh, ignore. And that's typical for the CFA. It gets even worse in CFA level two. Okay, if we look at the solution for this question, we're going to see, I just highlighted now in the yellow, uh, they've given you the market values and they've given you the modified durations. So all you need to do is calculate the sum of the market values, uh, calculate the weights, and, and it's just the weighted average, and it's as easy as that. You can see they give you maturity, price, coupon, yield to maturity, all this information that you don't need whatsoever uh, meant to confuse you. But again, the question at the, at the end of the uh, chapter should be very easy. 
And so I just highlighted the answer for you. So you can see A was correct. The portfolio's modified duration is closest to 7.62. Portfolio duration is commonly estimated as the market value weighted average of the yield durations of the individual bonds that comprise the portfolio. So they gave us the total market value of the portfolio, the 170 plus the 120 plus the 100 equal 390,000. And so the duration then was the 170,000 divided by 390 times the 5.42 plus the 120 divided by 390 times 8.44 plus the 100 divided by 390 times the 10.38. We got 7.62, very easy. And with that, that's the last for this LOS. Thank you.